I'm like an unstoppable engine, this shit's unreal Push in baby, push in, yeah I'm the big nigga, you a little nigga, but I'm the big nigga Yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all know that I'm doing the whole fucking Epic Dreams remastered thing. There might be some things that's gonna change with it. I'm not too sure. But since this video is not really about that CD, but you know the Otaku is you know is decent. And uh, I was thinking about um, when I actually put that out to download again, I add one more track to it, um, mainly because. Um, you know, since I'm gonna put it back out there, I might as well add something to it, you know. Um, <clears throat> but basically, uh, it's gonna be the only track on the CD that is not done by DJC. And since it originally came out with nothing but his produced tracks up there, you know, I don't really see a big, too much of a big problem. But it's just gonna be a bonus track, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be actual on the track list. It's gonna be a bonus track. Um, just for this re-release, -re but this one's gonna be done by DJ Fusion, and it's gonna be a track uh, about Death Note. Um, it's gonna be real rough, but I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, I guess show y'all just the beginning of how it's gonna sound or whatever. Um, DJ Fusion the Beast, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see if y'all can uh, feel this for a second. It's just going to be the very, very beginning. I'm not going to do much of it whatsoever. Alright, let's go. Since I seen that pad drop, I started cleaning the world, making people's hearts stop. All I need is a face, a name, in the name of justice, I'ma use a death note and change the game. You know, that's all I'ma fucking tell you right there. Yo, that, yo, that, yo, that. Nah, but you can call me. <laughs> yo, what's up, everybody? Shampoo, chilling over here. You know, and um, I'm actually gonna do a comparison of the. 3DS and the Vita. Um, I haven't been playing too much 3DS lately, uh, mainly because you know I got the Vita and the Vita has really been very impressive to me. It's been taking up a lot of my time. But at the same time, like when I first got the 3DS, I was playing that shit a lot too. Um, I actually beat Mario Land on the 3DS, and uh, I actually beat Rayman on the Vita. I like platforms, you know. I like traditional, you know, platformers and New age platform essentially what I do so. Anyways, we got 3DS and we got the Vita right here. As you can see we got Miss Claw. Nothing lock screen right there. Sexiness. And you got the 3DS right here. Got Mario chilling there. They got the 3D thing off, of course. And uh, the touch screen down below. But I mean, what can I really say about these things? Personally, they're both really good. They're both great. Um, the 3DS is it's a it's a great product, man. Um, it has um, the game that I still need to get, the Resident Evil game that, that recently came out for it. I definitely need to get that. I know that Kid Icarus Uprising is actually coming out for it too. I do want to get that as well. That game looks pretty dope. Um, I love the uh, how the 3D works with it, but at the same time, I don't use it often. I don't use it a lot, you know. Um, and the main reason is because, I mean, shit, I already wear glasses. Um, <laughs> you know, I I'm pretty sure, you know, any 3D, no matter what it is, on TVs and on a handheld like this, is going to give you um, some type of, you know, effect to your eyes and stuff. So, you know, I, I use it sparingly. Even when I play games in 3D, you know what I'm saying? I, I do it sparingly, you know, just to experience it and see what it's all about. And it's dope. I mean, I love 3D. I, I've always loved fucking 
reading in movies, games, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and Mario 3D Land is, is is a fun, great fucking game. I love how the 3D is used, it's utilized to the depth, and there's some levels that are just awesome with using the 3D. It's like, wow, man, it's just great. Um, the other game I have for is Dead or Alive Dimensions. I can't be stopping that game. I just shit on everybody in that game on the 3DS. Like, it just is what it is. People are scared of me. I get into matches and they leave. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. They, they literally leave um, because I just shit on them so hard. Uh, I mean, this thing's very responsive. The only thing I do not like about this thing, because to me, this is like, a purified kind of handheld and what I mean by that is that you could tell it's built for gaming and only gaming it does have little features outside of gaming on it but it's meant to be a classic certified type of handheld you know the only thing I don't like about it I've never really been a huge fan of these slide sticks that they have there's not another one which is a huge failure failure to me I always did not like that, but they have that um, that attachment to it, which to me looks like a joke, but at the same time, every single person that uses it and tells me that they've used it says that it works like a dream, especially with a lot of key games, especially that Resident Evil game. So I mean, all in all, I really do like this, the, the 3DS. I'm not going to trade it in or nothing like that or sell it anytime soon. I'm just gonna hold on to it, see what games that come out for I'm gonna get. I do plan on getting the Ocarina of Time remake for this, um, definitely. It has, you know, of course, the front camera, the two back cameras for the uh, 3D effect as well. Um, this thing works really well, man. I, I like it a lot. You know, it has a stylus, can play uh, DS games and 3DS, so I mean, I'm enjoying this, um, and I'm not sure if a lot of people realize, but they have the Legend of Zelda Four Swords game, like, never really used my actual, uh, there we go, but this game is actually on the Wii Shop for free, I mean, it's probably really ancient fucking news, but, you know, I just got my 3DS, um, in January, so, you know, but yeah, that's up there. But um, next thing that we're gonna go to is talk about the Vita, the Vita, the Vita. And then, uh, you know, this isn't really like truly in-depth video. I'm just kind of giving my kind of bare bones kind of comparison to of these two things. Um, oh, also actually, before I get to the Vita, I want to say this one thing about this. The graphics on the 3DS are no joke. People want to say they look like shit and all this stuff. It doesn't. The 3DS graphics are dope. They're good. They work well for the games that they provide. Just like, you know, how Nintendo does with the Wii. Of course, you know, people can say, oh, they don't have HD on the Wii and all that stuff. That's neither here nor there. You know, fucking this shit right here does a pretty damn good job. Especially if you see Resident Evil. It's, uh, it's on point. So I'm going to go ahead and power that off. It also comes with this charger deck right here. And everything that it sits on and charges on. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get to the Vita. Now this is kind of like my pride and fucking joy right now when it comes to handheld gaming. It has two analog sticks, which is fucking beast. It took so long to realize this. I mean, come on. Sony, you should have realized this the first time around with the PSP. You need two analogs on a fucking thing. Especially you, bitch. You should have realized it too. So I love it that it's built in. I don't have to spend extra money to buy something like that. The cons, I fucking hate the fact that it has proprietary fucking uh, memory sticks. I understand that Sony's been doing it for a long time um, as far as, you know, the memory and all this crap. But, I mean, even though the, the Sony PlayStation lets you use hard drives and stuff. But, you know, with the original PSP, you had to buy the memory stick do and stuff like that. Whatever the case may be, whatever the fuck, get the fuck out of my face. But it just sucks, you know. I, I wish they would allow you to at least use regular SD cards. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that with this. But you have to use their catered fucking memory sticks, which costs a lot of money. Um, I love how this thing feels. It feels awesome. Uh, the touchpad in the back um, works great. The screen, fucking awesome. Um, I, like I said before, I beat Rayman on this. It's a uh, dope, beautiful game. I can't suggest a higher game to get if you first get the Vita. Definitely get Rayman. I love the MVC game up here. 
Um, Motor Storm is free. Stardust is only 10 bucks. Um, I love the customization, how you can customize it. If I had to say one thing about a big con towards this thing, a huge con, I hate the fact that there's some games, specifically Stardust, that when you start up the game and you actually get into the game, you know what this shit does? It disables your network connectivity. So if you're in a party chat, you can't can continue to talk to people. So I was talking to some few people, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play some Super Stardust. I go ahead and turn it on, guess what? Boom, get kicked out of the party. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Hopefully they fix that shit with some patches, something, hopefully. Hopefully they do. Shit. Um, I love the fact that you can customize everything. I got some new themes I might show you on a separate video. I love the fact that you can do that. Uh, the whole blade thing with, you know, how you can bring up uh, music, websites, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google Maps, you know, go on the PSN store, get games and movies, rent movies, you know, like this thing is really awesome. The whole AR games, augmented reality, everything, you know, works really well. Uh, 3DS has augmented reality as well. Um, so I, I can't, definitely can't forget that or knock it against that. Um, so I mean, both of those are pretty dope for having stuff like that. Um, but uh, I only have one PSP game that I bought from the store right now in this East. And I gotta say that I'm really enjoying this game. If anybody and everybody's out there that <coughs> likes and loves fucking traditional JRPGs, you owe it to yourself to get E7. This game is pretty dope. It's an action RPG. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it right now, man. The story is really shaping up to be something, something really good. Um, it's so fucking fast and responsive when you play. That's what, that's what I think I like about it the most in the gameplay. You know, it's simple, but you know, it's, it's pretty addictive. Um, so I'm definitely really enjoying this. I was about to touch the screen right there. But uh, I'm gonna load up my save. But I mean, that's really it, guys. You know, this has the front and back camera as well. Has the expansion slots up top where you put in your games. Charged at the bottom. Doesn't have a charger stand like the 3DS. You can see I'm using the analog stick to move right now. I, was, I actually use this to uh, game a lot while I'm watching like basketball and stuff like that on the couch and everything. It's, it's just awesome. I play some music sometimes when, I, when I'm playing too. It's, it's just really dope, man. Especially when I'm playing Rayman and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, y'all. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I want to thank y'all for watching, man. But as far as I... What I like better, I like the Vita better. The screen is gorgeous, it's bright, it's just vibrant as hell. The buttons and everything just feel good. The cons, there's there's a few cons, but I mean the pros just kind of significantly out significantly outweigh them. And the cons are just kind of real small. The only one I don't like is that whole disable fucking network features thing. That is the one that really kind of just gets on my nerves sometimes. But at the same time. I only have one game that does it. I just hope that there's no other games in the future that does that. Alright, y'all, the shampoo. I'm out of here. Peace. Yo, what's up, guys? One more thing about this topic I want to go ahead and express real quick is the fact that it seems like Nintendo's kind of stuck in the past, in a sense. Um, I mean, it's just how it is. Um, I mean, you can even look at with how, um, you know, just how the Wii is. They, they don't have any like true online type of thing with the Wii. Um, it's not in HD and everything. And the thing is, is that I, I, I get why they didn't go ahead and uh, do the whole HD thing with, um, with the Wii. I get it. Um, I actually saw that Big Two made a, vi a video about it, a uh, food for thought video about it, and, and he was just asking, posing the question, you know. And the, the reason is because, you know, as HD wasn't a standard at that time when it was launching and they felt that they didn't really have to go ahead and do that. Um, do I think they should have? Yeah, I do. But at the same time, I understand the outlook on it. I understand why they did it. They didn't think that it was, you know, they had to do it. And from how it's selling and how well it's doing, I mean, I guess they were fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, would have been a plus? Yeah, hell yeah, it would have. But I guess, you know, in the public's eyes and everything, in the consumer's eyes, it didn't really matter, you know? Just, in the end, it just didn't really matter. But um, when it comes to handhelds, what I mean by they're stuck in the past, I mean, the 3DS, 
is a you know fairly new handheld you know and um it's not a true media hub you know and it's specifically when it comes to something like a handheld in today's day and age it's not the excuse that it was before when the Wii came out i mean come on this is we're in the now now you know what i'm saying like everything information you know we're in the digital age baby everything's moving you always want to be connected and you're telling me that they didn't know that then oh it's not viable oh you know you know it's not a standard right now fuck that shit it is a standard i don't understand why they're gonna come out with a new version of the shit and you know it, it, it's the same shit it's the same exact bullshit about the whole dual analog stick why the fuck not have a built-in second analog stick you should know this by now and it's the same thing when it comes to the to the 3ds it's like why don't you have all why is your shit a true media hub and specifically when it comes to handhelds when people go out in today's age today's youth and whatever you know grown up shit young adults they always want to be connected they always want to do multiple things at one time you know when they're when they're out when they're at school you know wherever case wherever they may be they could just be chilling in the house they could be down the street at a friend's house you know and that's what i really do like about the vita is that it is a true entertainment portable entertainment media hub i can put my music on it play music i can tweet I can go on Facebook, I can do all this other stuff. Now, do I utilize all that stuff? Do I utilize Facebook? No, but I have learned to, you know, basically tweet on it. It's pretty dope. Um, I game on it, I, I go on the web browser and stuff like that. And the thing is, is that I know that the Wii does, I am mean, I said the Wii, the 3DS does do um, web browsing and it does do, um, it does allow you to listen to music, but it doesn't do it as well. It doesn't multitask like talking about. You know, it, when, I, when I say a media hub, I don't just say, okay, yeah, do the features and that's it. I'm supposed to be able to do all these features multitasking. I'm supposed to be able to do everything seamlessly, just like I do with my phone. I can go on, I can turn on my phone right now, put on a track, go online. You know, I can, I can play a game while I'm fucking listening to music. I can stop, I can pause the game, go tweet, come back to the game, continue playing. If I find something out that I need to look up, I can go online, the music is still playing, you know, and then I can go back and tweet. Like, I can do all this stuff seamlessly. And I love the fact that you can do that with the Vita, and the Vita has great visuals. I love that fact. That you can do all that stuff with the Vita. And then on top of that, you can chat. And that's the other thing, too. You can, that's what I mean by they're stuck in the past. Like, they don't have no, like, chatting features. Like, true, like, voice chat features and, and stuff like that. I mean, maybe they do and I just haven't seen it yet. But I fucked with it and I haven't seen the shit. I know you can, like, send, like, fucking messages back and forth. Like, just text messages. But, I mean, come on. They need to pick up the ball. I hope that the next Nintendo handheld is more up to date i would say now i mean th that's that's like the biggest con i could say about the 3ds you know it just needs to get with the times i would say it needs to have that streamlined experience that connectivity but all right i'm done that's all i wanted to say um and if i hadn't said it before the vita is just my preference it's my handheld of choice and basically for the reason i just said and for you know, hopefully these, these games come out pretty soon that are really going to be stellar. I, I, I can't wait. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.